In our previous video, we took a deep dive into PHP CS Fixer and explored how it can help you maintain clean and consistent PHP code. If you missed that video, be sure to check it out. I will leave a link in the video description. Today, we are going to talk about another fantastic tool for PHP developers and that is Laravel Paint. Similar like PHP CS Fixer, Laravel Paint is a coding style and formatting tool, but specifically for Laravel projects. So in this video, I will show you how to use Laravel Paint in your Laravel application. And additionally, I will also show you how to set up Laravel Paint in Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. So first, what exactly is Laravel Paint and why should you consider using it in your Laravel projects? Laravel Paint is an opinionated PHP code style fixer. It is built on top of PHP CX fixer, but it is specifically designed for Laravel projects. Paint comes with a set of default rules that follow the Laravel coding style guide. This means that you can start using Paint right away without having to configure anything. The main difference between PHP CS Fixer and Laravel Paint is that Paint is more opinionated and Paint is specifically designed for Laravel projects, making it the preferred choice if you are working primarily with Laravel. PHP CS Fixer on the other hand a standalone tool that can be used with any PHP projects, including Laravel. Another key difference is that Paint is easier to set up. With the PHP CS Fixer, you need to install the package and need configurations. With Paint, you just install the package and start using it. No additional configuration required. One more thing, if we see this PHP CS Fixer, from this link, you can see it supports these PHP versions. On the other hand, in this Laravel Paint, if we see this composer.json, here you can see it requires minimum PHP 8.1 version. Now let's see Laravel Paint in action. By default, Laravel Paint automatically installed on create a fresh Laravel application. To verify this, in the editor, this is the newly created Laravel application and if we see the composer.json and here you can see Laravel Paint is already installed. If you want to install this in your existing project, then let's go to the GitHub repository and here is the official documentation for Laravel Paint. Let's open this in the new tab. Using this composer require command, you can install Laravel Paint in your application. This is all you need and it is ready to use. In our case, it is already installed, so we can skip this. After installing this, the Paint binary file is available in the vendor bin directory. Let's see. So in the terminal ls vendor bin and here you can see we have Paint. So to fix PHP files, vendor bin paint, it will automatically fix formatting style according to Laravel coding standards. Let's run this and see. It has fixed all these files and it has also mentioned the rules it has used to fix all these files. And let's go to the editor. And in the gate, we can see it has fixed all these files. And here we can see the changes it has made. Now let's discard all these changes. And on terminal, with this command, we can also pass dash dash test. This flag is for a dry run to show all the files that need fixing without actually fixing them. So let's run this. 
and here we go it has given the list of files that need fixing but if we see this in the editor we cannot see any changes it has made with this command we can also pass dash v flag to see what changes it need so press enter here you can see in the routes web.php here it needs two rules no extra blank lines right here and single blank line at the end of file after this line similarly all these changes it needs for these files next as i already mentioned there is no need for any configuration for paint but if you want to customize the presets or rules for this you need to create a file called paint.json in the root directory of your project let's see this so in the editor here let's create a new file in the project's root directory and that is paint.json and here we have an object and here we need option preset by default paint uses the laravel preset which follows laravel's opinionated coding style to fix issues you may specify different presets for example you can specify same phony or psr12 now if we see the documentation scroll down currently paint supports these predefined presets now let's try this psr12 rule set so in the terminal here we can run vendor bin paint this command automatically detects the paint.json configuration file in the project root directory but if you want to load paint.json from a specific directory then you can use dash dash config and then path of paint.json in our case it is in the project's root directory so we do not need to specify this so press enter to test this and now you can see these are the files fixed according to the psr12 rule set these presets are predefined group of rules so if you want you may also enable or disable specific rules in your paint.json file as i already mentioned paint is built on top of php cs fixer which means that you can use any of the php cs fixer rules to fix code style issues in your project so let's see an example to specify a rule here we will use a rules and then we can use rules from php cs fixer for example in the previous video we have implemented this php cs fixer configuration file so let's see this rule array syntax so i'm going to copy it from here and next paste that here because this is a json file so we need to change this in the json format like this and here right now it is using array syntax short let's say we want to use array syntax long and now in the user.php right here we have array syntax short so now let's fix this using paint so here let's run vendor bin paint and now here you can see it has fixed array syntax rule in all these files let's see this in the user.php and here we have array long syntax how cool is that let's set this to array short and format this again now this time it has changed to array short syntax let's see now it is back to array short syntax now let's set this preset to laravel and let's run this and let's run this vendor bin paint and this time it has formatted these files according to laravel preset 
with this Laravel Paint tool, the entire team can use this configuration to maintain consistent code style throughout the project. Next we will configure the Laravel Paint with the VS Code Editor. This will allow Paint to automatically fix issues in the file when you save it. So for that, first let's close all of these and now here in the extensions, let's search for Laravel Paint, this one. And remember that this is not an official extension. Let's install this. It is installed. So let's close this and let's open the settings. So press control comma and select this user tab to open global settings.json and in the end of the file here you can see in the previous video we have configured the php cs fixer and right here we have set the default formatter php cs fixer for php files so here what we want for all other php projects we want to use php cs fixer but for laravel we want to use laravel paint so for that we need to override this setting in the workspace settings so in the settings let's select this workspace and click this icon to open workspace setting and this is the example setting that i have shown in the previous video to override settings in the projects workspace so let's command this and now here in the users global setting first here i want to set laravel paint enable false so for all other projects i want to disable it and it has asked me to reload the vs code editor so let's reload this and now let's copy these settings and paste it here next here we want to use default formatter open southern laravel paint the extension vendor name and the extension name and here laravel paint enable and again it has asked to reload the window so let's reload this so here what we are doing globally by default it is going to use default formatter php cs fixer but here in the workspace setting we have override this and set the default formatter laravel paint and it should be enabled here we need to set one more option this one let's copy this and paste it here and set php cs fixer on save false great now let's test this so in the user.php here let's add some bad code style like this now on press ctrl s to save file it should fix this error using laravel paint and it is fixed so to make sure it is fixed by laravel paint let's open the paint.json and here array syntax let's set this to long now in the user.php scroll down and here here we have array short syntax so on save file it should change to array long syntax so control s it is now array long syntax great so let's undo this array short syntax and save file it is back to array short syntax it is working next in the terminal instead of running this long command on terminal every time we can add this in the script section of the composer.json let's see so composer.json file right here and in this script section in the previous video we have added the these two commands for php cs fixer similarly we can add paint and here we can say vendor bin paint like this and now on terminal we can run composer paint like this and it has executed this vendor bin paint and right now we do not have any files to fix so in the editor let's discard these changes and run this composer paint again it has fixed all these files great 
you can also configure laravel paint with git pre commit hooks to ensure that laravel paint scans and fix all staged php files before every commit so in the package.json i have already created video on husky and lint staged so i recommend you to watch that video to set up husky and lint stage in your projects so in the package.json here we have option for lint stage in the previous video we have configured this php cs fixer similar like that you can add here command for laravel paint so here you can say vendor bin paint like this now on commit changes it should fix the coding style let's see so in the user.php let's add some bad formatting style and also let's remove this comment Control shift p to save it without formatting now in the terminal let's add kit add app models user.php and git status now here we can see here we have one stage file that is user.php model git commit fnm let's say fix user.php the commit is successful and in the user.php it has fixed the bad coding style how cool is that this is all in this video we have covered everything you need to know about installing and using laravel paint in your laravel projects if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to give it thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more inside coding tips thanks for watching happy coding mm -hmm.